Welcome to Weld.com. This is the second part of a uh, series we're doing on roots. Do some roots. First part was on TIG. We did uh, my normal fit, uh, a comfortable fit. We did one that was wide open, which we saved. We're going to try to do it with, with this second part here. And uh, we had another one that was just slammed shut tight for TIG. Didn't work out. <clears throat> now we're doing some 6010 roots. We're doing some stick roots, okay? And it's almost just like just the opposite. My preference to a fit on stick welding is, and by the way, all of these have, they've all had the same root face on about 1 16th to 332. No more than that, okay? Um, my normal fit on a, a good stick fit that I'm gonna do on a procedure, uphill or downhill, is about a 16th, no more than 332nd. So <clears throat> I like a pretty tight fit. This one I would consider to be, it's a, it's a, I'm saying that one's about an eighth of an inch. It is an eighth of an inch, okay? And that one is weldable. It's a, it's, it slows me down a little bit. I don't much care for it. Anything wider than that, um, you know, it's weldable. You just gotta be, you gotta do a little dance. I forgot to mention, everything has been uphill, okay? The TIG roots are uphill, obviously. To, to save argument and everything, I'm doing all these uphill. Now, we get over to this rascal here. This was a leftover from the TIG root. We ran 532 in here and I just left it because I thought, man, we'll just continue on with this guy here. And it is every bit of 5 sixteenths of a root opening. Again, with that 1 16th. I'll go in here and I'll try to stitch this going side to side. I'll, I'll, I'll change to a, a 532nd rod. The danger that I feel I get into, this is only 3 8 plate. I'm having to run a 532nd rod hotter. I will try to hold a short arc and deposit more metal, but it's like I'm, I'm overheating the material automatically. Okay, and I've, I'm, I'm a little fearful of that. So, <clears throat> You know, there's a lot of variations. You're gonna run into stuff in the field. A lot of jobs that I worked on, I worked independently. I did my own material prep, my own cutting, my own fitting, my own weld out, my finish, everything. And I was comfortable with that because I'd give myself what I wanted, obviously. I've been a fitter on a lot of jobs and I'll ask people, hey, what do you want, you know? And they tell me like on downhill pipeline or something, they want a, a 10 cent fit means they want a, a, the thickness of a dime for a root face and they want a dime opening and that's cool because you can stick that rod in there and fly. I admire a gentleman on uh, Instagram, Wally's Welding World. I, I got a kick out of a post that he put out here not too long ago. His fit was a hundred dollar bill in the gap. I, I think that's cool. And that's, you know, if that's his personal preference, I know he's running hot and I know he's cramming it in there and I know he does great work and that's cool. And I worked with an old man that did that too. He'd run, he'd run eighth inch 6010 at 140 amps. And I mean, just smoke it in there. I personally disagree with that because when you get down about halfway through the rod, the rest of us just down here smoking and the flux is falling off of it. And it, that to me, that's not efficient. I like to run the rod all the way down the same amperage and, and get good deposition and have the control and everything. So, uh, you know, let's go through this and kind of experiment. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to running. I may adjust amperage here and there, and I may adjust, uh, I was running on the foot control on the TIG going uphill, so yes, I did vary the amperage. Kept everything the same. I got into the real tight fit on the first part of the series, and I dropped down even to a, a 1 16th wire and was just shoving it in there at 250 amps and it won't go through a tight gap with TIG. So uh, I'll explain what I'm doing if I drop to a, a smaller electrode or a bigger electrode and I'll tell you what I set the machine at. Let me get my hood on, I'll be right back. Eighth inch, 60, 10, 80 amps.
nice keyhole around the rod, keeping a short arc. I really need 85 or 90 on that one, but root. It's all about roots. Next one we're gonna do is a little wide open, or wider, I should say, not wide open, but wider. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down to 75 because I know I'm gonna stitch it. I don't think I'll have to go any lower than that. I hope I don't. If I had to do that opening all the time, I'd want a, bit, a little bit bigger root face because I really wouldn't want to drop any lower than 75 amps on the, on the amperage. And there's a lot of guys that prefer to do that. To me, it's just more stitching and more work and everything. I know there's some theories about blowing out the keyhole and getting the, I just, I don't know, I'm just a little bit more uncomfortable about getting the consistent feel. Is it doable? Yeah. To me, it's a lot slower. So, you know, my, my personal preference is like, I wanna do a downhill fit, or I wanna do a, a fit where I can kinda of do the downhill and the uphill thing the same on 6010. Just stick it in there and go and fly. Get the keyhole around the rod and just fly right up through there. So, <clears throat> again, it's all about breaking the edges down, getting the right amount of reinforcement and controlling it. So this was the strong eighth inch fit. I would thicken up that root face a little bit. Again, I, do, I would not want to drop the amperage any lower than that. I've got just a little bit right there on the side that may have not filled, okay? And I will say, you know, everybody has their personal preference of fit. There, is, uh, there are tolerances on your weld procedure specifications that give you a tolerance of amperage range. It's wide open on your root face, plus or minus a 16th. Amperage, again, it's, it's wide open, but then gap, you know, same thing, plus or minus a 16th. Follow all that. It's good to know. I mean, you're working on some projects, you probably run into some stuff like this. It's a nightmare here. For me anyway, some of you may be real good at it. That looks like a good MIG welding short arc gap for me. Even that's wide, but it's much more doable because it's a soft, non-violent type of arc. So I've got a, I've got a, let me go to the eighth inch and see what happens on 75 amps. I may drop it down to 70. You know what, we'll just start out at 70. And if that doesn't work, then we'll switch over to the 532, go from there. You know, I, I expect this to be a fire-breathing dragon here, so I think I'm gonna get another glove on. I'll like save my $5 sweatshirt that I like welding in here. Let me get, a, let me get another product here. Iron Cat 9070 Aerogel Glove Beyond Gauntlet.
Boy, that's slow and tedious. Let me try a 532nd rod. I'm no good at it. I flunk, I flunk my test. I just don't like that fit. I need to order up a piece of rebar or something to shove it in here. Hey, I was joking around a minute ago. This is no, this is a real deal right here. This is a real deal. Uh, I didn't. Need, I, I had more sparks in my lap that I felt. I had nothing on my arm. This is very comfortable. Dexterity too. Cool stuff. Everybody has a personal preference for fit. Keep me away from that one. You give me that on a job and I'm gonna puke because I can't weld it. It's just too wide. I don't mind the eighth inch. I've had those plenty and I've always, I've thickened up by root face and got away with it. Uh, and you know, this is vertical up. I can tell you that on like on horizontal and stuff, like I've done tests and production stuff, I've, I've stayed within the allowable limit of, of what was asked for. And I have purposely thickened up a root face on the top part, pipe and or plate, and kept the gap where it was supposed to be to run horizontal. And I like that, you know, the heat, the heat it tends to undercut the top part of a root, leaving the underfill on the top. I've, I've left one thin on bottom and had one thick on top, concentrate more of the heat up top and Everything flies right in there. You get done with it. You can't hardly tell what position it was done in. But, you know, I've, I've got my personal stuff that I like because I know I can make time on it and I can do it consistently. I know where the amperages are on it and I'm comfortable with it. And my amperages are within 10, 15, 10, 15 amps. It's not like I'm locked into one amperage. Uh, you know, I mentioned uh, Wally a while ago and I know he likes a, a real tight fit and I'm sure he runs a high amperage. I, I've not asked him how, just how high he runs, but I, you know, I've seen pictures of his work. He's a, he seems to be a great gentleman. He's a, he's a advocate for teaching and training and helping people like we all are, all of us cool ones are anyway. Um, you know, I hope this helps. We need, to, we need to cover up this ugly well. We need to get this thing out of here. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have questions and we can help with anything, let us know. Thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. New videos come out each week. Thanks for watching. What do you want me to do? Why are you all wobbly? Hope you didn't get that. <laughs>